UT Tyler Today presents Crafty Coffee Cups. And here with this week's recipe is your host, Sabra Beeson. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Crafty Coffee Cups. I am your host, Sabra Beeson. And basically today I'm going to show you three different super easy, inexpensive coffee cup craft designs. So. Let's just go over the supplies for the first design. This is going to be a marble print design. Marble's really in right now, so I thought that would be appropriate. We're just going to want to get our first coffee cup, and all you're going to need for this is a bowl that you don't mind throwing away because the nail polish will stain that rim of it. And then you're going to need hot water. Fill it up to where you want the design to come up on your coffee cup. I'm, I did mine like a little bit over halfway. So all you're going to need to do, you have your two nail polishes. You don't have to have two. You can do one, two, three, however many you want. I just thought this would be appropriate. I'm doing red for the holidays. So really simple. All you're going to do first off is you don't need this. You're just going to get the bottle and you're just going to pour some in there. It doesn't matter the amount. Just get some in there because you're going to add the other color as well. Do this quickly though because you don't want the nail polish to set too much because it tends to clump a bit. So let's go ahead and pour this one in as well. We're hurrying. That'll work. And then again quickly you're going to need to get a toothpick. That's something else you'll need and just stir it up a little bit to give it that marble look. And then the final step to this design you're going to just dip the cup in and twirl it around just a tad bit and pull it out. And as you can see now you have this beautiful marble mug. So as far as for drying it, you're just going to need to just wipe off the excess at the bottom because otherwise that'll be like fingernail polish drips at the bottom and you don't want that. So just clean it up a little bit without ruining it. Um, and then after that, you just set it over here. That one's complete. It will take this about an hour or so to fully dry. And then after that, um, it's not dishwasher safe, so hand wash it very carefully because you don't want the nail polish chipping off. So. That's that. Like I said, super easy. This would make a great gift, a great holiday gift this year. So moving on to our next design. We're done with this. You can just pour that out. I don't recommend putting it in the sink. Maybe pour it out outside somewhere. So that's complete. And so we're going to move on to the second one. This one's also super easy. This one just involves paint, as many colors as you want, or you can just use one color, stickers, and these round tipped paint brushes. I have several different sizes. You can just get these from your local craft store or I got mine from Walmart. So I'm going to get a few of these out. I probably want one for one each, one each of the each sizes for the colors of paint. So let's get out two of each. And then we're just going to start putting our paint. You can use a paper plate or a paper towel. It doesn't matter. And you're just going to put your paint on there just a little bit. Not a whole lot. That will work. So we're good with that. Moving on to the next color. Just going to add some of that. That works. And then before you begin painting, you're going to get your stickers and you're going to place those on your mug. So basically what's going to happen, you're going to put the stickers on it, then we're going to paint over it. And when we peel the stickers off, the word will be there. So. I am going to do the word joy because that's festive and it's not very many letters. So you're just going to put that on your cup. I'm going to go ahead and get your O and then lastly a Y. Thank gosh I have it. So that is that. And so um, when we come back, we're just going to do the painting. Um, so now that you've got your stickers in, we'll do the painting when you go back. Thanks for joining us. Winter is coming, so don't let the weather affect your precious morning beverage. Why'd you spit out your drink? It's cold and gross. This cup is the worst at keeping drinks hot. Girl, you definitely need the Snow Monster Cup. It's great at keeping my drinks clean. Where did you get that? On Amazon. Get your Snow Monster Cup today on Amazon for just $9.99 plus shipping. <coughs>
Welcome back guys, um, I'm your host Sabra Beeson and we're just going to go ahead and finish up on this design. We've got our stickers on so the next step is the paint. Very simple. So I'm going to go ahead and get this pretty teal color on my brush. Go ahead and dab off the excess. You don't want a whole bunch on there. And I'm just going to start applying that. It can be a little messy, that's okay. And you can just make a bunch of those all the way around the cup. The paint likes to look a little bit like spongy almost. So just kind of rub in a circular motion to get that off. You know, a little bit of paint on this uh, goes a long way. So don't worry about running out or anything. You just need a little, just a few drops of it. All right, so that's it with that color. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the darker green with the big brush as well. And go ahead and start putting that on there. A little bit more. Just go all the way around the cup. And then after this, we'll go ahead and get the smaller brush and do some smaller polka dots as well to break it up a bit. There we go. Get the dark green. All right. Just go ahead, really get them over those letters. That way when you peel it off, you'll be able to tell what it says. It'll show through um, with white. So that needs to be your main focus. It doesn't matter so much everywhere else. Just make sure and get over the letters really good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get the dark green again. Forgot I had these. We're just gonna go ahead and continue to fill that in with the dark green. So yeah, now that you have that on, obviously the letters are completely covered up. Um, the last step to this, you should probably let it dry before you peel it off, but since we're constrained to a short amount of time, I'm just going to peel my stickers off and hopefully this will have worked. Looking good. They kind of rip a little bit, but that's okay. So yeah, um, yeah, the last step to finish this up is just peel it off. So that, we'll go ahead and end that one right now. You know the, how to do the rest. So we're just gonna place that one over here with the completed ones. And let's move on to the next design. Go ahead and clean up your area a little bit. You don't want all this in your way. It's kind of annoying. So yeah, for the next design, go ahead and get this paper towel just in case. Um, this one's the easiest of all. I saved it for last. All you need for this is seriously just some Sharpies. Um, you've all probably seen people decorate with Sharpies. However, the trick to getting a Sharpie to stay on a mug is baking it in the oven at 350 for an hour or more. I think it's like one to three hours, but an hour works just fine. That'll keep the Sharpie on the cup. But again, still hand wash it very softly. So what you need to do for this is go ahead and hand draw out your design so you know what you're gonna do and just have in mind, that way you're not freestyling it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take this pink, doesn't matter what color, and we're going to do this design. So I'm gonna start with the word good, as you can see. Just gonna draw that on. So there is that step. Um, yeah, actually I'll go ahead and do the rest, the word morning, with the same color. I'm gonna do that in cursive. Like so. There you got your letters. And now for the design part, I'm going to use the, like, the little flourishes right here. I'm gonna use a different color to break it up a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and draw that on. And then we're gonna just draw this on bottom. This is a little bit difficult if you have shaky hands, so just do your best. And go ahead and do that and start adding the accents, like so. And all right guys, we finished that design, so now you have three beautiful cups. Thank you so much for joining us today, and have a good night.